So when I was teaching private lessons full time back in the day, I started to notice some interesting patterns happening. And one of those patterns was whenever a guitar student started learning guitar at a certain age, they always seemed to do better than people that were younger or, or older than them. So there's a couple age ranges that I noticed did the best, and that's between the ages of 12 and 15. So anyone who started and they were in about that range, they always seem to be a little more dedicated to the guitar than uh, their younger or older counterparts. So that was kind of interesting to think about the other night, and I thought, you know, it'd be a lot of fun to take that concept and research all my favorite guitar legends and see when they started guitar and if it matched up. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you what I found and then I want to give you a quick theory of why I think this age group uh, takes to guitar so well. So because the age range is between 12 and 15, let's talk about them first, the, the guitar players that I found that fell into that age group. And then we'll also discuss the outliers because there's always gonna be those. All right, so at age 15, Kirk Hammett started guitar. By the way, I just went off Google results, the first few that came to me, so hopefully they were right. We have Jack White, Jimi Hendrix, Slash, and Keith Richards. So according to Google, they all started guitar at age 15. I thought that was really interesting because it's within that age range that I really found people excel. Uh, let's go to age 14. We have Eric Clapton, Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. I love that picture. It proves that he was a metalhead like I was. All right. We also have Joe Satriani. By the way, I couldn't find a younger picture of Satriani, so it kind of confirms in my mind that uh, he's an alien like we all think. And then we have James Hetfield from Metallica. All started at age 14. Now we're getting to the ages where I found the most guitar players. This is kind of interesting. So ages 13 and 12 had the most. And I didn't research hundreds of guitar players. I didn't want this video to be like an hour long. So I kept kind of a smaller sample size, but it's still enough to uh, see if my theory worked. It's kind of my own scientific uh, experiment here. So we have age 13, we have David Gilmore, the great David Gilmore. George Harrison, Tom Morello, another great picture, John Mayer, and then for the 12 year olds we have Steve Vai, Eddie Van Halen, I love that picture, actually he was probably called Edward back then, just kind of looks like it from that picture. Uh, we have John Petrucci, he's another guy I couldn't find a younger picture of him, so uh, another alien there probably. We have B.B. King, St. Vincent. Hopefully you guys have heard of her. She's awesome. If you haven't, check her out. Jimmy Page and Tony Iommi. So some huge heavy hitters in that age category. And it's exciting to see so many guitar players start at age 12, uh, probably because that's when I started too. But just like anything, there are going to be the outliers. So there are a few that I found that were younger than 12 when they started and still went on to become great. And uh, those outliers were Richie Blackmore, age 11. We have Joe Perry, age 10. Brian May and Stevie Ray Vaughan, both at age seven. I found that really interesting. And then we have Angus Young, age six. He was the youngest I could find. And uh, really they said that he was just tinkering with the guitar at age six. So that could mean maybe he just like, messed around with the strings a little bit, who knows. But uh, knowing how great he became, who knows, he probably started studying at that age. Now, a lot of people get bummed out when they hear this kind of thing because they think, oh, you know, I, I'm 25 and I'm just starting or I'm 40 or I'm 60 or whatever. But it's never too late to start guitar because there are outliers on the other end of the spectrum as well. I mean, if you look at guys like Chuck Berry and Wes Montgomery and Johnny Ramone, you have guys that have started later on in their lives and still went on to do great things with the guitar. Now, it's not everybody's dream or goal to be as big as Chuck Berry, let's say, but uh, it's so amazing how much you could still get out of the guitar, how much satisfaction and uh, how good it feels just to play the guitar throughout your life, no matter what age you start at. So I can really only speak for myself of why I became very dedicated at the age of 12. Uh, I mean, I had a guitar at age seven or eight. I forgot which, which age that was, but uh, it just sat in the corner of my room for years. It just sat there and I'd walk past it. I never picked it up maybe a few times just to kind of mess with it. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't really have any ambition to get good at it. Uh, so I was just kind of busy being a kid, you know, having fun playing. I did martial arts and stuff, but whenever something became not so fun, I would quit right away. So I didn't have that level of dedication. But then when I turned 12, close to 13, 
something changed. I don't know if it was puberty starting to kick in or what, but all of a sudden I had this uh, extra gear for learning things. And I felt like, hey, I could get good at something and it meant something finally to me. Not to mention at that age, things are crazy. You know, I got into junior high and your friends change a little bit and you feel like your life is chaos. So I think I was looking for something really solid that I could count on. And that's another reason. So I had like this need in my life for something like the guitar and it was the perfect storm. It just seemed to come together. And then also you have to factor in that at that age, you have a lot of time to practice because you have summer vacations. You're not really working at that age, so you have all this extra time that you're not going to have in other times of your life to get really good and to dedicate yourself to something. So I keep thinking if I start a guitar after this age range, let's say if I was 20 and I wanted to start guitar, I think I still would have gotten pretty good. It's kind of like jujitsu. I started later in my life. I didn't get great at it yet, but I'm still trying. But it gets to the point where I felt like I would get good at the guitar, but I just wouldn't have the same amount of time because all of a sudden work kicks in, you have different obligations, responsibilities start creeping in. Next thing you know, you just don't have the same amount of energy, uh, let alone the time to dedicate to getting good at something. So I guess that's why I would consider 12 to 15 the magical age range to get into guitar or pretty much anything, just because of the fact that you have the energy, uh, the drive and the dedication to really pursue something at that age. And it's still really great to know that even if you did miss out within that age range, there's still hope. What I wanna know is what age did you start guitar? And are you still playing? Because obviously if you're watching this video, you're still interested in guitar in some capacity, so that's good news. But I really wanna know the details of when you started, uh, if you ever like stopped for a while, if you came back to it, or if you're just starting out, whatever your story is, leave it in the comments to be interesting for us, for us all to read, not just me. All right, everyone, hopefully that was interesting for you. It was for me. I loved researching these guitar legends. And I guess we'll see you at the next lesson. All right, thanks. Bye.